Hello, summer learners. Welcome back to STEAM Camp. It's Miss Nicole from San Mateo County Libraries, and I'm so happy to be here again. So before we begin, I want to remind you to fill out your summer learning log. It's almost the end of summer. So go to summerlearners.org and fill out your summer learning log so you can be entered for a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship. So for today's activity, we're going to be doing oil and watercolor paintings. So some things you're going to need are, of course, newspaper. A pan might help too, because it's going to be a very messy activity. Paper for your masterpiece. And of course, things to paint with. So some watercolor paint. I have blue and green. And I also have red watercolor paint. And you're also going to need some oil. Uh, this can be baby oil or cooking oil like olive oil or canola oil, whatever you have on hand. Um, you can use straws for this, or if you have it, some droppers. Or uh, you can reuse old eye droppers too. All right, so are you ready to create a masterpiece? Yeah? All right, so I'm going to change the camera view down to the table so you can see better. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need some paper towels or a kitchen towel that you can wash after this activity. So, to create a oil, an oil and watercolor painting, you'll need two papers, or I'll show you another method where you can just use one paper, but we're going to do the two paper method first. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop some watercolor paint onto the paper like this, as well as some oil onto the paper as well. I'm going to use the dropper. You can create some fun patterns. You can kind of see how the oil is getting soaked into the into the paper. It's leaving kind of a shadow. And what happens is try to add some watercolor on top of that oil. What's do you see what's happening? It's kind of creating these little pockets of watercolor. And what's happening is the oil and water are repelling each other. They're the opposite. Isn't that so cool? So to use some straws to, if you don't have any droppers at home, you're going to dip your straw into the watercolor paint, put your finger on top of the straw, and it's going to Pull some paint into the straw and hold it, and then you can let go when you're on top of the paper, and it'll drop just like an oil, this just like an eyedropper or a food dropper. It works just as well. Let's add some blue. Mm, what else should we add? And then you can also do a little splatter by tapping the straw. Let's add more oil. You can do the same with the oil with the straw and it'll drop. And you want to just keep adding color and oil to the painting and see what you can get. Some fun patterns or splatters. Remember our splat painting the other time? Let's add more red. Yeah, it's the water is totally avoiding the oil here. 
Let's try to add some into the oil, some watercolor. All right, and this is where, this is a really fun part where you can use two papers. You can put this on top, and you can squish it. Just like that, and get a really cool looking painting. You get two look, cool looking paintings. You can totally see how the oil has doesn't have very much paint, whereas the watercolor paint, you can see it absorb into the regular parts that don't have oil. Isn't that so cool? So that's one way to do a watercolor and oil painting. I'm going to set this off to the side and show you another way that you can do it. And this is also very fun. So, this is where a pan comes in handy. Or a Tupperware box that you have from your kitchen. You're going to put some water into the pan. And add some watercolor drops. Create some cool patterns into the water. It's almost like tie-dye. Doesn't it look really cool? Let's add some green. The droppers are fun because you go go swish. And it's kind of like a fun little water fountain that you have. Or like a water gun, almost. All right, and let's add some oil. I'm gonna use the dropper for this. I'm gonna do drops of oil. Plop, 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 plop. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper and lay it on top. Whoa! All those shadows that we're seeing, that's the oil being absorbed by the paper. So let's see if we can get some of the watercolor. So you can kind of dye your paper with the watercolor <laughs> and the oil. Oh, there's barely any watercolor paint on this. So that means you need more paint. So you can take it out or you can leave it in and add more paint to it. So this is a really fun, messy activity. Let's add green and blue. Isn't that such a cool little painting? You can mix it around. And then it's the watercolor is going to start, so the darker the watercolor paint, the more you're going to start seeing it absorb onto the paper. But you can also just move this off to the side. Get our paint. Piece. And you can just paint it directly out of the water. You can kind of see this helps 
get the watercolors onto the paper. Because right now, in the pan, my colors aren't dark enough. And it's just moving around in the water inside the pan. So you can take your watercolor and oil painting out. And you can kind of see it avoid all <laughs> the oil. Isn't that so cool? So they repel each other. They're the opposite of each other. And that's the activity. So keep exploring and see what kind of fun patterns you can make with watercolor and oil. I'm going to change the camera view up and conclude today's activity. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a fun time creating a messy and creative watercolor and oil painting with me today. Remember to submit your summer learning log at summerlearners.org, as well as check out our other virtual experiences at sncl.org slash virtual dash experiences. I hope you have a wonderful day, summer learners. Goodbye.